Hey guys, Little V here. Yes, you can use my music, and no, I don't do tabs. And this week, take a little bit of a mental health week, just kind of recharging the batteries, you know, just kind of holding down back and uh, letting that meter charge a little bit before I spend it. But I didn't want to leave you guys with nothing. So I figure I would uh, dust off my teaching skills and walk you guys through how to play Devil Trigger on guitar. So we're going to be playing this in standard. So that's uh, E, A, D, G, B, E. And uh, eagle-eyed viewers would probably already notice that in my video, I am playing on a 7th string, but a lot of people, especially beginners, don't start on 7th strings. So, I figure we would uh, make a couple adjustments and I would show it to you how to play it on a 6th string guitar. Now, I'd rank this song somewhere between beginner and intermediate. It's definitely not the hardest thing in the world to play, but you will need some basic techniques under your belt. Three in particular you'll need are power chords, bar chords, and palm muting. A power chord is where you take a note, in this case we'll use C sharp, and you play the fifth interval above it, G sharp, and you play them together. A bar chord is where you use your first finger and fret every string and build chords around it. And palm muting is where you take the palm of your hand and you rest it on your guitar like so and mute the strings. If you don't have these three at least comfortable, you're going to struggle with this song a lot. So I would recommend getting those techniques down first. So I'm going to walk you through basically everything up until the chorus, because then it just kind of repeats itself and it goes from there. So we start off with this little lick. And that is a G sharp, A, G sharp, C sharp. And that would be, um, if you're going by fret wise, we are on the D string on the sixth fret, then the si seventh fret, and then the sixth fret, and then the fourth fret on the A string. To make this a little fancier, we'll play the first half of the lick uh, down here, and then slide up on the G string to the 13th fret and repeat it again an octave higher. Like so. From there, we go into our little opening. And that is uh, barring the fourth fret with your finger, and then making a power chord shape on the uh, sixth fret of the D string and the G string. We're just playing a giant C sharp chord. In my particular version, I double up the palm mute, so it sounds like. So that brings us to the verse. And uh, there's actually two different guitar parts happening, but uh, we're gonna be focusing more on the melody stuff, not so much the rhythm stuff, but for your, uh, just for the sake of knowing, the, uh, the rhythm part goes like this. So basically you're playing that same chord from earlier, but you're palm muting it and chugging it a little bit more. By the way, um, if you're gonna be doing this kind of like reverse power chord thing, because so a normal power chord it would only sound like this. And you want to get really chuggy, chuggy heaviness, just add the fifth interval below the first note, and you get this super heavy chuggy thing. Just remember to like pick through all the strings, otherwise you end up with this. And you get a lot of the fifth, you want all the notes to ring through and, and uh, your amp should take care of the rest. Now with the actual part we're gonna focus on, the little melody line. So that is a C sharp, a G sharp, and A again. A lot of those, a lot of those three notes. Uh, and that would be your uh, 11th fret on the D string starting off. That would be your uh, C sharp. And then uh, you're gonna be playing uh, the 14th and 13th fret of the G string. In this kind of pattern here, you can kind of see on my little uh, smaller B cam. Hi. So that last little bit there, that little sneaky extra note, that is the 12th fret on the B string, which uh, would be B, 12th fret, one octave, and uh, yeah, just goes back down to the uh, G sharp. Like so. So this next bit is, uh, I'm playing it primarily on the seventh string of a seventh string, so we're gonna kind of adapt this a little bit, get a little creative to make it as heavy as a seventh string, 
without having to use the seventh string. So uh, the notes are C sharp, D sharp, and E, and then uh, C sharp, D sharp, and then B, being the, uh, this is all in the A string. Uh, the fourth fret, the sixth fret, the seventh fret, and then the fourth fret, the sixth fret, and the second fret. Then you finish up with the A, which open, and then the B to uh, C sharp again, like so. So as you can see, it doesn't have quite that thickness that uh, the seventh string would have. So, really simple. How do we make it thicker? Power chords. How do we make that even thicker? Reverse power chord. All right, so that brings us to probably the hardest part of the song, and that's this little lick here. So with this particular lick, you're just kind of going up and down the scale. So that would be a 11th fret, 10th fret, 11th fret, 13th fret, 9th fret, and that's the weird jump, back down to the 11th fret. And that would be a C sharp to C to D sharp, to E to C sharp. And so then to finish it off, it goes down to the 12th fret on the A string. And that is A, 12th fret, octave. Back up to the 11th. And then here's where it gets a little bit weirder. It's going uh, 12th fret and 11th fret on the A string down to the uh, 9th fret going. So kind of mimicking that first lick with the uh, kind of thing like that. So all together again slowly, we've got. And then repeat that. Trickiest lick. It's a little bit weird to get used to, but uh, it's also a good little fun exercise to stretch your fingers out. That brings us to our Wub Wub Breakdown. Uh, and that starts with a power chord, mainly riding on G sharp, going up to A, back down to G sharp, down to F sharp. So this would be, uh, if you're, again, going by first finger, uh, fourth fret, sixth fret, fourth fret, second fret. Go on. You repeat that again, and on the second pass, instead of going down to the F sharp, you go up to the B. Okay, so this next lick, it's uh, mimicking the synth line, and it starts on the end of one, so it's a little upbeat rhythm. Uh, and it goes between uh, A, G sharp, F, uh, and then uh, E. Goes something like this. One, two, three, four, one. One. Then it does the same thing again, but up an octave, so we're starting on the 14th fret of the G string. One. So ending on uh, B. All right, pre-chorus. We're getting to the home stretch here. So we've got a uh, basically Green Day holiday playing here, and that is uh, C sharp to A to E to B. So I'm using the uh, little reverse power chord trick into a uh, A, and then reverse on E and then B. That way you don't have to do a lot of crazy uh, chord shifting with your hands. So uh, slowly. All right, that brings us to the chorus. Now the chorus, super dead simple. It's just straight eights, power chords, just going nuts, embrace the darkness that's within me, uh, all that good stuff. And it's uh, C sharp to G sharp to A. And then again, C sharp, G sharp, to A, to B. And then repeat. And then the second time you go. So all together, a little bit slower, we got.
And that brings us right back to the verse lick. Okay, so let's try playing it together. Now, if you can't keep up, that's totally fine. I, you gotta start slow, right? If you can't get the lick at a slow speed, you're definitely not gonna be able to get it at a fast speed. But if you feel comfortable, let's try it. All right, I'll count us in. Two, three, four. <laughs> Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, or if you hate it, leave a dislike, and this is now a jingle apparently. Anyways, rock on, peace out. We'll see you next week with a new cover video.